move the device to the fixed point according to its layout diagram. Wiring Align at the plug position and connect the servo motor air plug. Similarly, connect each servo aviation plug in turn. Connect the host signal air plug. Similarly, connect other aviation plug. Connect the main power supply as required. Open the total power supply. Open the side power supply. Conducting check. Connect the check between the coil part and the host part. Connect the check to the groove pressure bucket. Connect the check to the base groove pressure bucket. Connect the main check to the coil part. The adjusted main air pressure is about 80 psi and the gas source needs to be stably dry. Adhesion duct. Connect the release tube of the adhesive pressure bucket to the adhesive dam. Connect the outlet hose of the bottom glue pressure drum to the fluid volume of the bottom glue and place the hose at the other end of the bottom glue in the glue basin. Check after power. Servo alarm A810 after power up. Click the alarm interface. Click servo alarm. Reset the servo drive with an alarm one by one and wait for the bottom color to reset. Power off the power and wait for one minute to restart. Servo alarm A810 clear. Prepare before the point moves. The enable to close the closing roller manually on the touch screen. Manually pull the closing roll down away from the big drum. Turn the machine manually for a week to confirm that there are no collisions and delays. Open the enable of the servo model required to be enabled. Open the linkage switch of the servo model required to be enabled and do not open the linkage switch of the closing roller first. Press the click button to start the alarm. After the third second alarm stops, click the click button again and the machine runs normally. Automatic deviation correction system settings. Click setup. Click the setup wizard. Click on start settings. Long press Form Adaptation. Click Start. The deviation correction system begins to detect the limit position. Click to return after the successful detection. Click Next. Click the left and right arrow. The correction device can swing the right side. Click Next. Select the photoelectric sensor. Click Next. Click Next. Change to automatic mode. Change the polarity to plus and change the gain value to 20. Double click to return. The automatic deviation correction system setting is completed. The automatic deviation correction system sets up the English interface. Click on Setup. Click on the parameter setting page. Enter the password 123456. Click on Chinese or English. Setting up the English interface is complete. Automatic tension system settings. Click Setup. Enter the password as required at 0100. Select the checkout parameter. Click Setup. Select the checkout to adjust zero. Enter the zero adjustment interface. 
long press setup to start setting. Click to return to zero. Select weight calibration and set the weight weight to 25 kilograms. Pass the 25 kilograms of weight through the tension detector. Keep the weight still and tighten the rope. Long press setup. Both the detected and set values were 25 kilograms. Automatic tension system setup is completed. Automatic tension system is set up in English interface. Click on setup. Enter the password 0100. Click the down arrow continuously. Select the 12 dot system settings. Click on setup. Check 00 dot language. Click on setup. Click down the arrow. Check the English. Click on exit to return to it. Set up to complete display the English interface. Check whether the oil gauge pressure value is 500 to 1000 psi pound per square inch up the feeding swing alarm is placed to the lowest end. On the paper, open the air surge shaft buckle. Move the air surge shaft to the upper feed swing arm. Long press the feed button to drop the surge shaft. Roll the air surge shaft through the paper. Long press the feed button. Move the paper roll to the feeding frame and lock the buckle on the both sides. Let the roll location of the roll material. Adhesion width plus paperback side width plus one half paperback face width equals paperback center. The enter position of the paperback should be in the same plane at the center position of the host engine. Inflate lead the surge shaft if the roll position is set correctly. Disassembly and folding template. Turn the clip disc to adjust the hand wheel and remove the front and the rear discs outward. Remove the bolts of the template connector and remove the plate. Release the template's fixing screw. Remove the original template. Change with the required surface wipe template. Lock the formwork and fix the screws. Lock the fixing screws of the formwork fixing beam. Adjust the width of the molding template. Release the fixed hand wheel. Rotate the template to adjust the hand wheel and adjust the width of the template to the appropriate position. Lock and secure the hand wheel. Adjust the tone part of the molding template. Relax the nub on the stabilizing support arm and adjust the support arm to align the tone of the forming template at the center line of the machine. The width of the formwork tone is slightly greater than the width of the formwork angle. Lock the nub on the stable support wall after the adjustment. Set the pressure weight and the friction wheel. The friction wheel will tighten the homemade formwork edge of the material inward. Adjust the screw handle to change the length of the friction wheel extension and the angle to the molding template. These rubber wheels should be at a 5 to 10 degrees angle from the host center line. Increase or reduce the counterweight on the friction wheel as required. Set the height of the flip disc. Check that the clip disc is in the center of two forms. If no, relax the height adjustment hand wheel of the support holder. Adjust the support fixture up or down with the height adjustment hand wheel and lock the height of the hand wheel after the adjustment. Set the add disc height in each of the four positions.
set the lateral position of the clip disc. Turn the disc to adjust the hand wheel until the temperate edge aligned to the correct scale on the disc. The depth of the clip disc into the temperate should be one half of the side width of the paper bag. Set the guide rod for the molding template. Adjust the screw handle to change the relative position of the guide rod and the paper cylinder. Adjust the guide rod correctly so that the material can pass through the forming template angle smoothly. Wear paper. Close the tension and raise the traction wheel. Pull the paper roll over the roll section according to the specified path to make the paper roll completely straightened. Lift up the friction wheel of the molding part. Before the paper roll enters the foaming part, please straighten the material completely. Fold the front end of the paper roll. Point the paper bag at the center of the main engine and pull the paper roll in two under the foaming template. Mix the material under the foaming template to preform under the paper tube. One hand holds the paper roll above the template. One hand pulls the paper roll under the template, and the lower hand vigorously pulls the paper roll forward. Position the tail end of the paper cylinder between the upper and the lower traction wheels and put down the traction wheel. Open the tension. Tap it or start the traction wheel at a low speed. Take out the paper roll from behind the traction wheel and pull the paper roll to completely shape and unsmooth paper roll. Set the tension to the appropriate size. Adjust the preset value to equal the detection value and turn on the automatic tension. Drop the friction wheel in turn. Measure whether the side value is preset value. If correct, lock the clip side disc and adjust the fixing screw of the hand wheel. Set the edge glue device. The knob of the adhesive device has three states. When the adhesive device does not work, the manual adhesive device has been working, and the automatic working states of the adhesive device will automatically follow the running state of the equipment. The distance of the adhesive device is about 1 mm from the drum. Rotate the height glue to adjust the hand wheel to move the adhesive machine horizontally on the drum and move the rubber coating to the edge of the paper drum. Adjust the knob on the glue machine clockwise and adjust the knob on the glue machine counterclockwise. Adjust the lateral position of the traction wheel. Turn the knob to raise the upper traction wheel. Relax the seat traction wheel fixing screw. Slide the traction wheel until the traction wheel presses to the paper roll of 20 to 30 mm. Lock up the retaining screw. Similarly, adjust the remaining three traction wheels. Adjust the air pressure, pressure of the traction wheel. Increase the cylinder pressure by turning the pressure regulator knob clockwise and counterclockwise to reduce the cylinder pressure. Set the cylinder pressure to 30 to 60 psi and set the same pressure on the front and the rear sides. Pick the paper pole. In the case of uneven side of the paper cylinder, the upper layer of the paper cylinder or the lower paper cylinder can align the side of the paper cylinder. 
Replace. Cut knife. Relax the screws fixing the block and remove the wall knife. Install the new cutter into the fixed blocks. The vertical side of the cutter must be at the leading edge of the turning direction, and the inclined side must be at the trailing edge of the running direction. The protruding length of the cutter is generally seven millimeters. Locked screw of the fixed block. Cut of the drum origin setting. Point to turn the machine. When the cutter is about to touch the paper roll, set the origin on the touch screen. Check whether the cutter can cut off the paper tube smoothly. If no, reset the origin. Set the lateral position of the delivery roller. Relax the fixing screws and move the transfer roller horizontally. Make sure that the transfer roller can be pressed to four layers of paper cylinder. Lock the fixing screws of the transmission roller holder. Have another transfer drum set up in the same way. Adjust the pressure of the transfer roller. Let the distribution wheel of the outer transmission roller press on the paper cylinder. Relax the fixing nut before and after. Turning the adjusting nut clockwise allows you to reduce the pressure. Turning it counterclockwise increases the pressure. Check that both transmission wheels can press the paper tube and lock the fixing nut of the front and rear adjusting nut. Adjust the time points for the delivery roller and cutting. Close the enabling of the transfer wheel. Turn the machine by point until the cutter is about to cut off the paper tube with proper tension on the paper roll between the cutter and the traction wheel. Turn the upper seat conveyor roller manually so that the front edge of the conveyor wheel just presses on the paper cylinder. Open the enabling of the transfer wheel and set the origin of the transfer wheel. Install the wire pressing knife. Install the press cutter into the second cutter slot. Lock the screw. Set the left reposition of the roller transfer disc. Relax the fixing screw of the pressing line transmission disc. Move the disc sideways so that the two discs press down four layers of paper or two layers at the same time. Lock the fixing screws conveying the disc wheel drum. Similarly, adjust another transfer disc. Adjust the pressure of the transfer disc of the pressing the roller. Reflect the fixing nut of the adjusting nut before and back. Turn the adjusting nut clockwise to reduce the pressure. Turn it counterclockwise to increase the pressure. Check that both transfer rollers can press the paper roll and lock the fixing nuts of the front and back adjustment nuts. Adjust the distance between the first blade slot and the second blade. Reflect the fixing screw for the second cutter. Move the second blade from the first blade slot by one half of the paper back side web. Lock the retaining screw for the second cutter. Turn the machine manually. Check the distance between the two indentations and adjust again for error. Adjust the position of the drum wheel for section. Open the switch of the vacuum pump on the touch screen. Release the fixing screw of the drum wheel section and retaining seat. Move the section fix seat forward or backward to move the section position forward or backward. The drum wheel should start to inhale before the paper roll reaches the drum wheel area. Lock the fixing screw of the section and fixing seat of the drum wheel after the adjustment. Adjust bag length. On the paper tube, the distance between the first indentation and the top of the paper tube is the height of the paper bag, and the distance from the first indentation to the bottom of the paper tube is the folding length. 
The back length adjustment was increased or reduced on the touch screen according to the difference between the measured paper back height and the actual paper back height. After the adjustment, pass through at least three paper bags and check the height of the paper bag on the first paper bag. If the measured height still varies from the paper bag height, please adjust again. Adjust the section position of the bottom drum. Turn on the switch for the vacuum pump on the touch screen. Turn the opening drum manually to the section position. The opening drum should inhale before the nozzle touches the paper roll. Release the fixing screw for the bottom section cam. Rotate the open bottom section cam and the leading edge of the highest point touches the expansion bar. Lock the retaining screw for the bottom section cam. Turn the machine. Loosen the lock screw of the section cam after collapse paper tube. Adjust the rear edge of the highest point to touch expansion rod and lock the rod screw of the section cam. Set the lateral position of the bottom roller. Relax the screws on the bottom drum cam retaining seat. Move the bottom drum to sides and move the bottom drum to edge of the paper drum. Lock the screw. Origin setting of the open bottom drum. Point to turn the machine. Keep the open bottom clay pointing to the paper tube. Set the origin of the bottom drum on the touch screen. Adjust the release position of the bottom clip. Replace the outer shift cam for a suitable stroke. Turn the machine by point motion. When the bottom of the bag is fully expanded, relax the fixing screws that lift the cam. Move to the lift the cam against the sliding rod. Lock and lift the retaining screws of the cam. Adjust the bottom roller. Check the position where the open bottom mechanical finger is clamped on the paper tube and is below the first folding line. If the position lags behind the first folding line, increase the open bottom adjustment on the touch screen. If the position is ahead of the first folding line, the open bottom adjustment is reduced on the touch screen. Paperback flat guide plate. Move the pressing bar to fix the seat so that the pressing iron is located about 3 to 5 mm to the outside of the adhesive shape of the bottom of the pocket. The screw holding the seat of the locking and pressure bar. Second adjustable spider synchronous adjustment fixture of drum wheel fixture. Relax the fixing screw of the fixture of the second fixture and turn the synchronous adjustment of the fixture of the second drum fixture. The correct spacing should be minus 11 mm from the bottom side of the back. Lock the fixing screw on the front side of the drum wheel so that the synchronous adjustment fixture of the second drum wheel fixture is fixed the correct position. Install pad block. Install the pad block before the second fixture. Lock the screw. Install the other three sets of pads similarly. Choosing different sizes of cushion blocks according to the different size width of the bag. Adjust the drum wheel mechanical finger. Turn the machine manually so that the drum wheel mechanical finger of the first workstation gets to the top of the drum wheel. Open the operation side shell door.
and two handles correspond to the manacle fingers of the operating side drum wheel and the gear side drum wheel respectively. Turn the drum machine clockwise to adjust the handle to move the drum mechanically to the operating side. Turn the drum machine counterclockwise to adjust the handle and move the drum mechanically to the gear side. Move the fixed frame of the drum wheel mechanical finger along the shaft so that the mechanical fingertip of the drum wheel intersects with the wide surface size. Find to a single drum wheel mechanical finger. Loosen the fixing screw of the mechanical finger of the drum wheel. There is a gap in the fixed seat of the drum mechanical finger which allows the drum mechanical finger to slide on the fixed seat of about 3 mm. Measure the distance between the drum wheel mechanical pointing to the wall panel is equal to the distance between the other two groups of drum wheel mechanical pointing to the wall panel. Adjust the back bottom pressure to flatten the rubber wheel. Relax the fixing screws of the pressure wheel. Move the rubber wheel sideways to the edge of the paper bag. The gap of the wheel aligns drum manacle finger. Lock the fixing screw of the pressure wheel. Set the synchronous adjustment holder for the center clip finger. Subtracting the length of the paper bag is the length of the first fold. Note the length of the first fold as the position of the center finger. Turn the machine manually so that the center is clamped at the top of the drum wheel. Relax the center clips refers to the hexagonal screw of the holder. The distance between the top of the center clip to the first line of the center clip is 3 to 5 mm of the folding at the bottom of the bag. Lock the screw after adjustment. Release time of the center clip finger. When the first folding cutter pushes the bag into the first clamp tool of the drum, the cam driven roller just contacts the front edge of the cam. Relax the retaining screw of the cam outside the front wall to adjust the clip point of the release cam. Move the cam to the correct position along the positioning pin. Lock and tighten the fixing nut. Turn the machine manually. When the first fold into the knife starts to fold the first fold into the first drum wheel, check whether the center clip just opens the fold of the bag. Install the first and the second folding knives. The length of the first folding knife is paper bag surface width plus 5 mm. Turn the first knife into the knife between the knife holder splint. Adjust the first folding knife so that the folding knife is parallel to the knife holder and extend an appropriate distance. Lock the bolt and fix the first folding knife. Similarly, install the second folding knife. Adjust the fold knife to drum fixture. Relax the fixing bolt on the second holder of the knife to adjust the action time from the jack knife to the drum fixture. Slowly turn the machine so that the second clamping of the drum wheel is located on the center line of the drum shaft and the knife shaft. Turn the second folding knife by hand to get close to the second fixture of the open drum wheel and let the folding knife just across the rear edge of the second fixture of the open drum wheel. If necessary, turn the drum wheel slightly to set the correct section insert knife position. Lock the bolt of the second folding knife holder. If the first folding knife is adjusted, the method is the same as above. Install the guard. After the correct installation of the guard, the guard should protect the bag to the surface of the drum wheel, but does not affect the bottom of the bag. Bottom device. When the first fold is near the bottom of the bag, close the bottom row on the touch screen. Turn the bottom row manually, which should slightly contact the inside of the first fold. Open the enabling of the bottom roller on the touch screen and confirm the position of the bottom roller and open the linkage switch of the bottom roller. 
The bottom of the bag was closed normally. Adjust the flower plate. Turn the machine with an inch of motion to get the bag out of the synchronous belt. Increase or reduce collection adjustments on the touch screen. The gap of the disc is aligned with the resulting bag. Adjust the bag bevel. Relax the two bevel retaining screws. Move the bag bevel inward or outward according to the bag width. Secure the two bevel retaining screws.